Hello everyone. Welcome to next session in our BAP learning series. And as we have started SAP Enhancement. So the next topic we are going to learn in SAP Enhancement is the screen exit. So let's understand what exactly is a screen exit and how we can implement the screen exits. So in today's lecture, we'll explore screen exits, an essential topic for the customizing of SAP standard screen. So as the name indicate, screen exits, this means that this will allow us to add the custom field and the functionality to standard SAP screen without modifying the core data. This means that whatever like standard fields are available, we'll use that as it, as it is and we'll add our own fields in that. So we'll focusing on the practical example of adding a custom field to purchase order header screen. In purchase order, we have like header and line item. I will consider a scenario of header. I will explain, I will give one end-to-end -end demo of how to add the custom field on purchase order header. Then as an assignment, you can do the same for the purchase order line item. Okay, so this is our business requirement. Based on this, we'll implement the screen exit on this purchase order screen, ME21 and transaction code, ME21N, 22N, and 23N. We have to add custom fields in this last tab. Okay, so what are the steps? How we can implement a screen exit? The first, we have to find out the program name of the respective transition code. Here it is ME21N. Then we have to check for the package of the main program. Then based on the package, we have to search for the exit in SMART transition code. The required, the respective exit must contain the exit for the screen area. Here you can see the DIN Pro area that is the screens. And here you can see actually here the descriptions are not coming or we'll get directly get description like this is for the purchase order header, this is for purchase order line item, this is for scheduling agreement, etc. But here the texts are not coming in my demo system. So like this, if in the particular exit, we have the service screen area and the screen number, then we can make use of this particular exit. Okay, so here this is the main program. On this main program, this is the screen of this main program. Okay, and as a part of multiple programming, whenever we want to work with the service screen, see the screen exit always work as a part of service screen because the standard SAP program and standard main screen already there. SAP will provide the service screen area. Here you can see this cursed SCR1 is a service screen area on the main screen. And we have to add our fields, custom fields on this program SAP LXM06 and this service screen. Okay, and this will get displayed in this customer area. This is part of the model programming. Fine. So here you can see this is the main program. And in the main program, this is the syntax to call the service screen. So here you can see this is the main program and discuss SCR service screen area, including the program name, and this is a screen number 101. Fine. Here you can see this is the area, because SCR1, and the fields which we'll add on this 101 screen of this program, this will get displayed in this area. Fine. So the steps, next steps for our screen exit See the screen exit, we are adding custom field. Okay, and those field must get saved in some database table. So the steps here, like first we have to add the field in the respective table. So here we can see the SAP has given two include structure. One is EKKO ODB, which is for uh, the header, and second CI underscore EKPODB. This is for the line item. In our case, we'll add our field in the first. Fine. After this, 
will add the custom field of this included structure on this screen number. And once we have added the fields here, added the fields on the screen, then we have to write the logic in the respective function modules. As we know, whenever we are working with the screens, the PBO, the PAI concept is there. PBO is process before output. There, we have to write the logic we have to write the logic before the screen appears. It is called a PBO. And PAI is the logic after user performs some action on the screen, process after input. Fine. So this will be our main target for the today's demo. So now I will log into SAP system. And first we'll start with the first three step. Identifying the program, package, and searching for the exit. And then we'll start working on this. So now I will log into SAP system. First, I will open the existing purchase order in ME23N. This is the existing purchase order. Here you can see this is the header area, and this is the line item area, this bottom one. So my requirement is I want to add the custom field here. By default, this tab will not be there. Okay, in your system, you will see the last tab as product compliance. But once the screen exit is implemented in your system, you will be able to see the additional tab, the custom fields. As of now, there are no fields here. So my requirement is I want to add a custom field here at the top. And I want two field. One is the sales order number and one is some remark field I want to tag. So two field I will add. Okay, so I will go to ME21N. ME21N is a transition code to create a purchase order. 22 for display change and 23 for display. So here first my requirement is to find out the program name. Go to system, status, and this is the main program name of this ME21N. I will double click here. And the next my requirement is check the package of this program. For the package, go to object directory entry. So here we can see the package name is ME. Okay, so now we have two options. One is the SC84 or second is the SMOD. Both we can use. We have already learned in our previous lectures. So I will go to SMOD. I'll click on enhancement information system. I will enter here the package ME. Enter. So here we can see all the exit name. So we have to like check in each exit, okay, based on the description or by just login inside. Okay, so here if I paste on, you can search for the screen. Let me search for the screen here because we are looking for the screen exit, right? So here we can see two control import data. Okay, but this is not the one which I'm looking for. I don't know why it is not uh, showing. One very commonly used screen exit is there. Okay, actually the name is customer fields in purchasing document. You can go one by one, but I already know this. So customer fields in purchasing document. What is our requirement? We want to add custom field, right? So we'll go with this MM06E005. Else you have to go one by one in all the exit and check whether they have given the screen exit or not. Like suppose I'm going here, I'm selecting this one. So I will click on component. Then here you, here you can see there is no screen exit. Like this, you have to check one by one all. But I know like this is the exit which we can use for the screen exit. So in S mode, I will enter this enhancement MM06E005. Select the components, click on display. So here you can see we have the function exits, which is required to write the code. Then this is the screen area and it's the include program to add the custom field. Okay, so as I explained, the step number one, add the custom field in this include. Step number two, add the fields on this sub screen 101 and then add a required logic in the PBO and the PIO. To understand which function we can use for the PBO and the PIO, 
double click on this and check the description. So here you can see export data to sub screen purchase document header. This header is important, right? Because I'm going to add the details for header and this is PBO. Okay. And second, like, like this, we have to check all the details and the fields which are required, it must be either importing or exporting parameters. Here you can see, even though this is like PAI, but I can't see any like changing or the exporting fields here. Fine. So we'll implement this exit. We'll implement this exit and we'll check whether it is working or not working. We'll understand that. Fine. So till now what we have done, till now we have checked the program name. We are able to find out this exit name. Now in the next lecture, we'll start implementing this exit. First by adding the custom field in that respective like CI include program structure that we'll learn in the next lecture. Thank you.